What makes a great resume and a great cover letter? What's important to know is that these are marketing documents. It's also important to know that the average employer now takes up only about seven seconds. So they're not reading these resumes, they're skimming these resumes. So they need to know right off the bat how you add value. So here's a great example of a recent alum's resume. It's one page, although two pages would be fine. This person has their contact information. They are then listing their education, although it's possible to put the education at the bottom. You need to ask yourself, is it my education that's more marketable or is it my experience? This is also a good resume because rather than just a mini job description in the experience section, this former student is using what we call accomplishment statements to describe his experience basically three criteria. You want to begin with a nice strong action verb and on our, and in our resume writing handout we have a list of a hundred plus action verbs. Then as you write each of your sentences or phrases you want to say to yourself, so what? Big deal. So I did that. How did I make a difference? Did I increase anything, decrease, modify, or change? So if it's possible to pull out accomplishments and results and the third criteria would be to quantify information. Here's another strong example of a resume. What I like about what the student did is in the experience section, she has strong action verbs, she has strong results, but she also has strong numbers. She was able to quantify her results and accomplishments. In terms of cover letters, it's important again to know that this is another marketing document, relevant, should be one page, and should be a highly customized document. And basically, a cover letter is answering two questions. Why you for that specific position at that specific organization? So it's certainly important to have a strong resume and a cover letter, but it's important to remember that the number one job search strategy is networking. And you don't want to have an entirely reactive job search just reacting to jobs that are posted on internet job boards, for example. The problem is you don't know them, they don't know you, your odds of being called in are probably slim. So I highly encourage you to implement networking, to conduct a series of informational meetings, so in fact they're meeting you first, and then your resume comes along. And it's more of a placeholder and then it doesn't weigh as much.